Hi everybody, I have uh, a couple of videos that are coming this one that I'm going to shoot here. I'm going to attach this video to, if I can find it, uh, Richard's video about spanking um, along with uh, some other stuff because uh, this video is going to be about spanking and then the other one's going to be about something not related to spanking but stupid. Um, what it is, I found this um, article, I had it emailed to me from Yahoo from Cincinnati's Channel 5, Cincinnati, Ohio that is. Um, what it is, is the article is called uh, Prosecutor, Abuse Case Not Ordinary Discipline, and it says, Charges Require Proof of Cruel Punishment, Smith says. I'm going to read verbatim this article, okay? It says, Burlington, Kentucky. The Commonwealth Attorney in Boone County says there are reasons a teacher was charged with a felony on accusations that he beat his son. Linda Telly Smith sent out a press release Friday to answer questions about the case of Christopher Robinson. Robson. Robson said was charged with criminal abuse earlier this week, week after his ex-wife called police to say Robson beat their five-year-old son with a belt over a game of hopscotch. Robson told News 5 that he did spank his son but did not abuse him. In the release, Smith said there isn't a whole lot she can say about it because the case is still pending. However, I would like to assure the public that the criminal abuse in the first degree is not a charge that is leveled under circumstances of ordinary discipline by a parent, she said. It requires proof of intentional infliction of abuse. That, that causes torture, cruel confinement, or cruel punishment. As such, there is a clear difference between appropriate discipline and punishment, an abuse that crosses the line into criminal conduct, she said. Robson's first court date is set for July 26th. I tell you what, I don't know who wrote this, or who talked about this, this was apparently probably on the actual news because it was posted at 10.34 this morning and it was updated at 12.06 this afternoon. Um, I feel sorry for this guy, Rob Robson, it's R-O-B-I-S-O-N is the last name. I tell you, it's, but like Richard said in his spanking video, you know, there's you know, spanking isn't considered abuse unless you get some, you know, wild flake being weird about it, you know, because, you know, it's like, I know when couples get divorced, especially if they've got little kids, you know, the parents sometimes get weird about how parent one, you know, say parent one disciplines child, for example. Like in this case, Robson, R-O-B-I-S-O-N is the guy's last name. Um, say parent two, in this case, his ex-wife, the mom, doesn't care for the way that parent one, dad, is disciplining their kid. Well, you know, parent two, mom, whines about it and gets dad, parent one, in trouble. I think that's kind of ass nine unless there's some malingering issue between mom and dad which those two need to leave the kid out of it you know I mean but if you know dad just like really just caused like giant like welts and stuff on the kid just got you know real mad just whipped the kid for all he's worth and just beat this kid until you know there was bruises and stuff then that's one thing I mean but you know like I said in uh you know, some of my previous stuff, especially with spanking, you know, I mean, I got spanked as a kid. I mean, not often, but, you know, I don't view it as abuse. I mean, just as long as you don't beat them until the blood runs, for example. I mean, like if, like what my parents did with me when I was bad, they'd spank me enough to where it hurt, and like I remember it, you know, but um, they wouldn't beat me till the blood poured out of my backside, you know, um, and that's what I'm getting at. Um, you know, it's, I think that corporal punishment's a good thing, just as long as you don't go overboard with it, you know, and just beat the child for all it's worth until the blood pours. Now, that's abuse, in my opinion, but, I mean, 
seriously. I mean, if the kids, you know, you know, I believe in, you know, doing like a mixed approach. I mean, yes, spanking's fine in certain instances, but it should be done on a case-by-case -case situation. I mean, you know, yeah, spank the kid, give it a time, time out, and then let the kid think about it, you know? I mean, seriously. But anyway, I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to do one more video, okay? And some other stuff, okay? So hang on.